Amen, everybody. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, we wouldn't be. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. But truly, God has been good to us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He has blessed us. He has strengthened us. He has corrected us. Yes. He has chastised us. Yes. Amen. 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 Which we don't like, but he chastised us because he is God. Amen. Amen. I'd like to write your attention to Psalms 103 and 21. 103. Let your angels work for you. Oh, yeah. Let your angels work for you. Father, we thank you for this time. Speak to our hearts and our minds as we go into your word. Give us ears to hear and a mind to obtain what the Spirit says to the church. Anoint these lips of clay. Forgive us for our sins. And we give you praise. And the people of God said amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let your angels work for you. One thing that gives pleasure to the Lord is found in Psalms 35 and verse 27. Psalms 35 and 27 is one of the scriptures that gives pleasure to the Lord. And it reads in your hearing, let them shout for joy. Hallelujah. And be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, continually, let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. You need to get excited. Amen. You got help. You have help from the angels of the Lord. Amen. You have help through the word of God. And you have help through the spirit of God. Amen. And then you have help from God himself. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. According to the scripture, God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Mm -hmm. Well, if he takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, don't you think he will take even more pleasure in the 
prosperity of his sons. His sons. Galatians 4 and 7 real quickly. Praise the Lord. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Because we came through Christ. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. Amen. Don't you think he going to take care of you? Amen. He going to bless you? Yes. Oh, yes. And he going to chastise you. Yes. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Even when you're going through trials, tribulations, even when you're going through setbacks and heartaches, even when sickness try to take over your body or pain try to horrify you, God said, I got you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed when, when pressure comes upon you, through it may be Sickness or financially or whatever. Have you ever noticed how you really get serious about calling on God? Yes. Oh, yes, you do. You get serious about God. You ain't got time for no games. You're going to call God and mean business with God. Well, God said, I want you like that all the time. That's why some of you go through more stuff than others because God wants you like that all the time. So it gives God's pleasure when we prosper. We prosper. You have to prosper as being a son and daughter of God. Some people think God wants us to always have problems mm. and be in lack in this life. Mm. But if God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his people, and it is... The angel's job, the angel's job to do God's pleasure. You got an angel Amen. that's working with you. Amen. You have an angel that's protecting you. Amen. You have an angel that watches over you at night when you sleep. Yes. Even as David said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, Amen. I Fear no evil, for thou art with me. In other words, I got backup. Amen. I got some help. Amen. Can I get a witness? And it's called the angelic beings, which always surrounding us. Amen, somebody. Amen, everybody. So, the angels will help us if we believe in them and speak words of faith. They will help us. If we believe in them and we speak words of faith. Psalms 107 and 2 real quickly. Praise the Lord. When you get a say amen or smile or shake your head or do something, let me know you're there. Amen. amen. Psalms 107 and 2. You have it? You ain't moved your head. You ain't said nothing. So I'm going to move on. Maybe you'll get it while I get there. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Say so. so. Say so. 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 Hmm. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. He has redeemed you from the hand of the enemy. So it doesn't matter what he tries to do. Of what he is doing, you have the power to say so. Oh, amen. Thank you, Lord. Because you have been redeemed by the Lord. Amen. Redemption is very powerful. Yeah. It doesn't matter how your enemy may try to tie you down yeah. or strip you of your thoughts. Yeah. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. So. Oh, say so, so. say so. Oh, say so. so. But many would not dare say so. Mm. In other words, speak what God says about 
the situation of your life. So speak whatever's happening. So God got me. Amen. I've been redeemed regardless what it looked like. God got me. He's going to take care of me. Amen. He promised to take care of me. Amen. He promised to heal me. He promised to strengthen me. Amen. He promised to encourage me. He promised that he will be with me at all times. Amen. And he said, I love you forever, forever, and ever. In other words, he has the eternal love that he has for his children. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Psalms 34 and 7. Amen, somebody. Amen. If you have it, Shake your head or say something so I can move on. Praise the Lord. It reads in your hand and in your hearing. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him. Because you fear God, the angel of the Lord encampeth around you. You always got company when you don't want no company. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. And deliver them. He delivers them even while he's encamping around them. You got backup, people. Amen. You got it going on. One of the prophets was in war. And one of the, one of the uh, 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 men said to him, it said, it said, uh, uh, last he said, they're more than us. We just a few. He said, look again. We are outnumbered them. In other words, God has angelic beings waiting to war. Amen. Thank you. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Amen, somebody. Amen. You got to know who your backup is, Amen. your spiritual homies. Can I get a witness, Amen. somebody? Amen. When you got spiritual homies, that means they with you. Amen. They ain't going to run out on you. They're going to run with you and run before you. Amen. Why? Because you are son. Thank you, Lord. You are daughter of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Hello, somebody. Amen. In 24 hours, yes. he's still blessed. Amen. Oh, in 24 hours. Amen. He's still blessed. He'll break it down to 12 hours. Amen. He'll break it down to 12 minutes. Amen. He'll break it down to 12 seconds. Amen. He'll break it down the way he want to break it down. Long, he said, long as you prosper, he get pleasure out of it. Can I get a witness? Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen, everybody. So, when the angel of the Lord encamps around about you to deliver you, then you will be delivered. When they encamp around you to deliver you, you shall be delivered. Amen. You will be delivered. Amen. You will be delivered. Amen. You will be delivered. Look for your company. Look for your help. He said, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there with you. How do you release the angels? Oh, how do you release your angels? How do you get them involved? So that they minister for you. Amen. Predominantly in two ways. One, keep God's word in your mouth. In order to put God's word in your mouth, you've got to read it. Yes. And then apply it. Meditate on it. Confess it out loud. Long as you get into your spirit, you'll be surprised what it does. That's how you bring the angels aboard. Oh, they're coming. Amen. Oh, they will come and do what they need to do. Amen. Two, pray. 
not play, but pray. Jesus said he could pray and get more than 72,000 angels. And they are available to you as well. Amen. When he was on the cross, he could have prayed for but he didn't. And they would have came and they would have tore Calvary up. And everybody else is around there. But he didn't call for them. He said, but I made them available for you. Hello, somebody. I'm ready to get up out of here. I made them available for you. That's a lot of angels. 72,000. Church, I'd be happy with 500 of them. Hello, somebody. 72,000? That's a lot of angels. I must be doing a lot of work for the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look how the angels have been protecting you yes. when you wasn't even with God. Amen. Because God already knew what you was going to be in him. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness? Amen. He was in your mess. Yes. Thank Hello. You. Yes. In Thank your you. mess, yes. in your nest. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Dancing, doing the tootsie roll and happy feet and all that other stuff. Drinking and laughing and grinning. Yes. They shot up the bar, the club and everything, but none of it never touched you. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God got some work for you. He said, you think you're having a good time? I'm going to show you a good time. Amen. And that's going to be when he changed your life. Hallelujah. And it's a continuous change. He just don't stop. Amen. We stop. We get lazy on God, but we feel like God ain't moving like he's supposed to. He said, I don't have to move. I got my angels there. They wait for you to speak words of faith. When you speak words of faith, they got to do what they supposed to do. Amen, somebody. So, take Psalms 91 and make it personal. You make it personal. You read, confess it this way. I know you got a way you read it, but this way that I'm going to give you, yes. you do Psalms 91. I, 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 I dwell in the secret place. <laughs> Cut and dry. I dwell in the secret place of the the most what? Most high. The most high God. Yes, God. Oh Lord. Maybe, 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 no, maybe no. do me a favor there. Just you just take this on down to yes, yeah, Psalm 91, right? You take it, take it on the sign the sign one because I want to take my time. I want to watch this right here. And when you get down to praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. 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 Yeah, when you get down here, you give it back to me. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to show you how the Lord say this is how you confess it. Yeah, go ahead. You go on over there. I hey, dwell in wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get myself together here. <laughs> the Lord, you're rushing me now. Rushing me. I want y'all to hear this is a confession. Amen. Amen. That is made how you make it to the Lord. All right, talk to me. I dwell in the secret place. I dwell in the Secret place. That's where I dwell at. Amen. That's where I live at. That's where I hang out at. Amen. That's where you'll find me. Amen. In the secret place. There's something about a secret place yeah. in God. When you in a secret place with God, you ain't got to worry about no interruptions. You ain't got to worry about nobody knocking on the door, calling on the phone, but you're in a secret place. Everything else is cut off. It's just you and God in your Secret place, uh huh. The secret place of the Most High. The Most High, uh huh. Therefore, I shall abide under the shadow. I'm going to abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Of the Almighty, just His shadows. I'm going to abide. I'm going to stick close. Why? Because I'm connected. I'm abiding myself. In him, regardless of what's happening in my life, I'm going to my 
secret place. Because when I go to my secret place, when I come out of my secret place, I shall be re redeemed. But not only that, I shall be victorious. And I can say so. Uh-huh. I will say of the Lord. I will what? Say of the Lord. Uh-huh. He is my refuge. He he is my refuge. Uh-huh. And my fortress. And my fortress. My God. He's wait a minute. That's a lot of stuff there. He's my fortress. He's my God. Uh-huh. In him will I trust. In him. No one else but in him. I will trust. I got to trust him. I didn't trust everything else and it failed me. Yeah. But he never, never, ever will desert me because I trust in yeah. him. Uh -huh. Surely, uh -huh. he shall deliver me. Surely, this is a short thing. He shall deliver me. In other words, I'm coming out. Yeah. What I mean, I'm coming out. It can't hold me no more because I am coming out of it. He Bring me out of it. Uh huh. He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowl. From the snare of the fowl. In other words, somebody's always hunting you down. Somebody's always trying to brainwash you. But God said, I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to deliver you. Uh huh. And from the noisome pestilence. The noisome pestilence just won't leave you alone. Just like a fly and a butterfly. Not a butterfly, but a fly. That zip, zip, zip. That's the way. People become yes, always getting on your last nerve, but you don't let them know it's your last nerve Amen. because they're gonna work it till you ain't don't have a nerve. Amen. But you keep on Hallelujah. trusting God because you know you coming out. Uh huh. He shall cover me with his feathers. Oh, he can recover me with his feathers. You ever take the cover and throw it over your head? Yes. Can't nobody see you. Amen. <laughs> Nobody can see you under the covers. Can I go with it? Well, the Lord going to cover you with his feathers. When God covers you with his feathers, do you know even the feathers themselves, they are so soft, but what happened? They are penetrating God in you. They are penetrating God in you. Hello, somebody. Uh huh. And under his wings shall I trust. Under his wings, I'm going to trust. Why? He's going to take care of me. Uh huh. His truth shall be my shield. And whoa, 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 whoa. His truth is my shield. Because you tell the truth, lies always attack you. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's my shield. Tell you the truth. I give you the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me, God. It is the truth. Some folk can't handle the truth. But God gives us truth. For a shield, God. It is a protection. There's truth in him. He said, I am the way, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, and the light. I am all that in one. Hello, somebody. Uh huh. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. Uh huh. I shall not be afraid. I'm not going to be afraid because I know they're coming. I know they're coming. But you can't touch that. I said you can't touch this. Amen. You can't touch this. Why? Because I got back up. Uh-huh. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night. Uh-huh. And some of you can't sleep at night because the devil always messing with your mind. Amen. He always telling you you ain't going to make it. Amen. He starts sending voices at you. He starts sending all kind of drama. He starts sending all kind of unnecessary pain. He starts sending stuff to mess with your mind because he see your mind is fixed on God. Yes. And that is his job to break that up. But the devil is a liar. Yes, yes. There is no truth in him. The truth of the matter is you made a decision to serve God. And since you made that decision to serve God, God said, come on, baby, I got you. Because no weapon that is formed against you shall ever prosper. But you're going to prosper. And I'm going to get pleasure out of you prospering. Hallelujah. 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 Nor for the arrows that flies by death. 
for arrows that fly by day. Some of you catch it during the day and night. Hello. Okay. Look like these arrows become like spears. Hello, somebody. Amen. They become, look like they just don't stop. Amen. Look at the pain that you suffer. Yeah. Look at the agony that you go through. But you keep looking to the hills, yeah. which come with your help. Yeah. Your help coming from the Lord. And the arrows come. So, <laughs> can I? Yeah. Oh, Thank I feel the Lord. Lord. Oh, he yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness. The pestilence that walks in darkness. Wow, my, the my. devil's always yeah. creeping. Yes. That's why he said, "They that work for the Lord, they do a work in during the day." Mm -hmm. Why? Because the simple fact you can see yeah. the pestilence that creeps at night. Mm -hmm. And they always sneaking up on you. They're demons. I say they're demons. They don't want you to see them. But you see the repercussion of the stuff yes. that they do to people. Yes. People are right now messed up as we speak. Walking in the rain. No place to go. No housing. No food. No nothing. And a lot of them don't like it when it rains, especially if they live in cardboard yeah. boxes. Because yeah. when it rains, it, it, it melts down their cardboard. Yes. Hello, somebody. Amen. You just don't know how blessed you are. And that's your job to pray for them yes. that don't have so they can have. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. Nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. That wastes at noonday. Uh huh. A thousand shall fall at my side. Did you hear that? You hear that? You in war? A thousand shall what? Fall at my side. At my side for what? And ten thousand at my right hand. At my right hand, ten thousand shall fall. Hmm. My goodness, do you see the enemies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of you don't even know. Right. But they know you. Amen. Because of your anointing. Do you not know your anointing draws the enemy? <laughs> it draws the devil. It draws yeah. the demon. Yeah. He see God goodness in you and he got to shut that out. But the devil is a liar. Amen. And you got to remember that your anointing is more powerful than any Come devil in hell. Yeah. Hello, somebody. It's a people. Yeah. It's strength. Yeah. It glorifies God. God and it uses you that God may be glorified. Mm -hmm. but, it Talk to me. but it shall not come nigh me. What? Let's say what? It shall what? It shall not come nigh me. It shall not come nigh to what? Me. Me. Uh huh. Only with my eye. Come on. Shall I behold and see? And see, uh huh. The reward of the wicked. You're going to see the wicked. You're going to see the wicked. You're going to see their reward. And you know what their reward is dirt, casket, destruction, blind, crippled, cursed, tore up from the floor up. Just messed up. But they need you. Yes. Prayers of deliverance. So many folk are broken. Amen. Yes. Each day, Satan is breaking folk yes. down, but God is building them up. Yes. I say God is building them up. That's why he say, let not your heart be troubled. be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many a mansion. If it was not so, I would have told you. But I go to prepare a place for you, for where I'm at. You come in, you're coming. In other words, prepared people. A prepared place for prepared people. He's preparing you now. Ain't no trials and tribulations in heaven. Amen. 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 They down here on earth. And you overcome them through the word of God. Amen. And the Holy Ghost that abides on the inside of you. He lives in you. Amen. Amen. He don't evict you. When you sin, you evict him. Amen. That's right. Stay clean. Won't he make you clean inside? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, look like you clean on the outside, but inside it be uh, the ragged old men bones. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Dead men bones. Uh huh. Because I have made the Lord, mm. which is my refuge. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I have made the Lord. Mm. I made a decision. Mm. Woo. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I have made the Lord. Lord help me with that. I have made the Lord. My what? Which is my refuge. Oh, I have made the Lord, comma, which is my refuge. My refuge. He got me when I don't even know what's going on. Amen. Oh, he got you. He got the whole world. In his hand, 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 he got the little teeny baby. In his hand, he got the little teeny baby. In his hand, he got the little teeny. In his hand, he got the whole world. He got the drunk and the druggie. In his hand. He got the drunk and the druggie. In his hand. He got the drunk and the druggie. In his hand. He got the whole world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Read. Even the most high. Come on. My habitation. That's my habitation. The most high. Uh -huh. There shall no evil before me. Oh, wait. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Yes. Did you hear that? Yes. Say no evil shall before me. I don't care how much evil around you. I don't care what's going on. It's not going to take you. Amen. That's what the word. That's what he's saying. Yes. You confess that every day. Uh, no, no, no. Lead us not into what? Temptation. But deliver us from all that is evil. Yes. But thine is the what? Yes. And the what? Power. And Forever, forever, forever. Mm -hmm. I started something up in here. Uh -huh. Neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. Uh, COVID can't come in my house. Amen. No plague. Yes. No plague shall overtake me. According to the word of God, I got my shot already. Amen. The shot of the Holy Ghost. Amen. When God hit me with the Holy Ghost, I've been mm, redeemed. Hello, somebody. Yeah. I've been delivered. Yes. I've been set free. Yes. Amen. 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 Disease free. Hello, Amen. somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. If the Holy Ghost is in a vessel mm. that is sick or messed up, he starts the healing. It. Yes. Amen. He starts the healing. Especially when you call on his name, Amen. he answers. Uh huh. Yes. For he shall give his angels. Uh, uh, there you go. What? Charge over me. The angels got charge over you. Yes, they do. They have charge over you. God gave it to them. In other words, you be talking about, look what God has done. And angels stand and say, yeah, we were sent to do what we've done. Amen. That's why times when you're going, the Holy Spirit say, go to your left, go to your right. Amen. And usually when you follow that instruction, you'll see the evil or the danger that was said waiting on you. Yes. Amen. Amen. People bring evil to you now. Amen. Yeah. Uh-huh. To keep me in all my ways. To what? To keep me in all my Do ways. Do you want to be kept? Amen. He said, I keep you in all your ways. I can keep you every day in all my ways. Amen. Uh-huh. They shall bear me up in their hands. Come on. Lest I dash my foot against a stone. Mm -hmm. I shall tread upon the lion and adder. Mm -hmm. The young lion and the dragon shall I trample under my feet. Gonna stop them. Hello, somebody. You got to understand. You got to put the devil out. Amen. You got to let him know you can't have no company. Amen. I said you got to let him know you can't have no company. Amen. 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 God can speak to you when you ain't got no company. Amen. He'll stay longer too. Can I get a witness somebody? So these verses of scripture hmm, describes 
the person who who places his trust, confidence, and faith in the most high God. Lord have mercy. But not only does he dwell in the secret place and abide, my goodness, under that shadow. He also says something. He said, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him. In him will I trust. I got the trust. I don't know enough what to trust him. I trust everything else, but it, it, it failed me. Amen. Amen. This psalm should be hmm, the bold confession of every child of God. Psalms 91. That should be the bold Yes. A bold yes. confession. Yes. Some may say, I know someone who tried that. <laughs> but it didn't work for them. And you always have your critics. Amen. There are probably more people that it does not work for <laughs> than those that it worked for. It's all about believing. Yes, Everybody don't believe. Amen. 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 They don't believe. Yes, A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come not to me. Right. What are you saying, preacher? The last Three verses of Psalms 91 are spoken from God towards us. Psalms 91 and verse 14. Listen to what he says. This is God speaking. Uh huh. Because he has set his love upon me. Then you set your love upon him. Amen. What did he say? Therefore, will I deliver him? I'm going to. I'm going to do this personally myself. I'm going to do this. I don't, I don't need the angels to do it. I'm going to do this. Amen. Uh huh. I will set him on high. Uh oh, -uh, there you go. People don't like that. <laughs> and God started ever elevating you. Folk don't like that. Amen. Because they elevated stop. Can I get a witness? Uh, amen. Uh huh. Because he has known my name. Because you know his name. You know his name and learn his name when you go through. Amen. Through your toughest trials and tribulations. When you call on God, you can hear the echo of it. Yes. And know that it's real. Amen. 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 I, 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 I hope I'm dealing with some safe yes. folks. Some yes. folks that's, that's really going through. Yes. Uh-huh. You, you, you didn't finish it, did you? I finished 14. You finished 14. What is God's name? Wow. Well, he is El Shaddai, mm -hmm. the Almighty God, the All Sufficient One, mm -hmm. the God who is more than enough. Mm -hmm. That's more than enough. So, he said, when you sit, afflicted, he said, he is Jehovah Raphael, mm -hmm. the Lord that healeth thee. Mm. In other words, when you're going through your sickness and pain, he said, call on that name, Jehovah Raphael. And when you call on that, believe him because he will answer you. Yes, yes, yes. He he, it's a promise. Yes, sir. And he said, I will heal you yes. from any sickness or affliction. I will heal you. COVID versus Christ. Christ always wins. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. So you got to look at it. You can take all the vitamin C's you want, them, but you got to trust God when you take them. Amen. 
He is also Jehovah Jireh, the God that supplies. You need some supplies? Yes. You in need? Yes. In Jehovah Jireh, that's who you call. Amen. 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 You can't call uh, 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 LD Emotions or Mother Instigator. You got to call. <laughs> you got to call Jehovah Jireh. Amen. 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 He can supply. Every need you need, yes. he will supply. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen, Amen everybody. So, the Lord. so many don't know God's name. Right. If they don't know these are his names, how can they call upon him for these things? Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you call priests and say, hey, 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 Fred. He said, my name ain't Fred. Mm -hmm. My name is James. Right. Oh, excuse me. Right. So you got to find who? Fred. 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 You got to go find Fred. You can't find Fred. <laughs> now you're around with Harry okay. and Moose chasing the goose. Hello, somebody. <laughs> and you still ain't found Fred. Fred. See? He said, you got to call my name. Not my name, his name. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Right. This is my priest. Right. Or his mailman. That's all I have. Praise the Lord. Yeah, he did. Psalms 91, verses 15 and 16. I know y'all do it, but I, it's, it's a lot in there. People of God. You have any back here? He shall call upon me. Oh, God. That, 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 look, and do what? And I will answer him. Did you hear that? He said, yeah. you're going to call me by my name I just gave you. Yeah. He said, when you call me by my name, I've Hallelujah. got to answer you. I will not ignore you. I will not put you on hold. And he will not say after the beat, leave your name and number. This is God. He's not going to talk like that. He ain't sending you no email or no text. He said, you call me, I'm going to what? I'm going to answer you. We ain't been calling and we did. We had an attitude and we didn't do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Mm -hmm. I will be with him in trouble. Wait a minute. Say what? I will be with him in trouble. You mind your business. In trouble, he just came and hit you upside the head. But he said, I'm going to be with you. Thank you, I'm going to take care of that trouble. Amen. Amen. He said, the battle is not your battle. This battle is the Lord. You should not have to fight in this battle. Amen. Hello? We so used to fight. We just started to fight. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Swinging and going off. Hello, somebody. Say, sit down. Hello, somebody. It ain't your battle. Amen. So true. Fighting spirits. Amen. And you're missing them. Yeah. And they keep tormenting you. Uh-huh. I will deliver him uh -huh. and honor him. Did you hear that? I'm going to deliver you and honor Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. God said, when I deliver yes, you, then I'm going to honor you. Hallelujah. This God we serve is awesome. Thank you. you delivered me. You see what you just brought me out of. Right. And now you're going to honor me? Hallelujah. You, 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 you're concerned about me. Hallelujah. That's why when folk backslide, they feel that they got to go start at the bottom. God said, when you left me at this way, you got to come pick me up. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. That's why, the, and the devil will minister those that backslide and say, you got to start all over again. They, no, no. He wants you to start over again. So when he can hit you with everything you've done wrong. Oh, you so <laughs> he hit you with everything. He be throwing all kind of old pictures up. And and you gotta remember that's old. God has already what? Delivered. Forgiven you for that. And if he had forgiven you for that, why is why are you looking at that and feeling that you have to be charged for that? Amen. Jesus took away that. When he looked for you, come out your mouth to ask for forgiveness. Yes, when you repent, he restores. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh huh. With long life, mm -hmm. will I satisfy him? Wait a minute. He's going to let you live a little longer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I say he's going to let you live a little longer. Amen. You know why? Because he honored you. Amen. Yes. 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 
Hezekiah was dying. He was in the gun. He said, I'm going you better get your house in order. Yes. And the boy turned his face to the wall. And he prayed and he cried out to God. And God sent the messenger and the prophet in and told him, Mr. Hezekiah, God going to give an extension to your life. I'm going to give you 15 more years to your life. Why? Because he prayed. Hear me now. And he called on God. God keeps his promise. Yes. And, the, and, the, and the, the whole scenario of it was God was going to let him take him. But when he prayed, you see the change? Yes. God sent a man to God in there and tell him God will give you an extension. He turned that thing around. And since he turned that thing around, how do you think Hezekiah felt? He felt good. Yes. In other words, I'm going to live a little longer. Yes. Amen. But when you read after he, some of the worst kings and worst everything came out out of him. When God is ready to do what he needs to do, you got to let him do what he needs to do. Yes. But God answered his prayer Amen. and gave him an extension Amen. to his life. With long life, I will what? Will I satisfy him? I'm going to satisfy him with long life. Uh -huh. And show him my salvation. I'm going to show you my salvation. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Because yeah. you asked me for it. This is a promise. Yeah. Yeah. I have to fulfill Holy my promise. Yeah. Yeah. I have to fulfill my promise. Yeah. God, it seemed like it's so long. He said, you say it's long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While you running your mouth, I'm working behind the scenes to bring it to you. Amen. There's some things I gotta break down. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's it, sir. So <clears throat> with long life will I satisfy him mm -hmm. and show him my salvation. Our God will show us salvation, mm -hmm. deliverance, yes. preservation, healing, yeah. and soundness. Yeah. Oh yeah. He gonna do it. You can't do it. He does it. Yes. The ministry of angels is part of salvation. Yes. The ministry of angels is part of salvation. The deliverance that God has given us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you always got to back up. Amen. Amen. The Amen. angels of the Lord, they look for Amen. you to speak the words of faith, speak the word of God, and they come in. Amen. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation that comes by the ministry of angels? Put the angels to work by knowing God's word in your mouth. Give his word a voice. Your angels are listening. The angels of the Lord are listening for you to speak. Amen. You've got to open your mouth yeah. and say it. Amen. 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 you got to stand firm and bold in your walk, in your talk, what God has done for you. Amen. Can I get a witness of that? A lot of times we look at situations and things. But you better let your angel work for you. Yes, Amen. Amen. You got to let your angel work for you. Amen. And they ready to work. Amen. They be flapping and telling, when you going to call him? When you going to, when we going to work for, when we, when, when we going to do this thing? Amen. When we going to do this thing? When, when, when you, when, when, for, you going through unnecessary stuff. Amen. We're here to help you. We're here to deliver you. Amen. We're here to bring you out of your Yes. Yes. And then you say, God don't love me. God say, call your angels. Amen. Call your angels. They're waiting. Wow. At your beck and call, they're waiting on you. Wow. They are ready to give total deliverance, people of God. Yep. I said total deliverance. Amen. So, why take a vacation on God? Why leave God to take a break? 
You can't take no break on God or leave God like that. Amen. No, you got help. Yes. Amen. Occupy your help. Amen. And understand that God got you. Amen. Regardless of your situation and your circumstances. All that you've been through. Are you really holding on? Are you really holding on? You got to hold on. You got to be consistent in your thinking, in your praying, in your studying, and even seeking God and coming to church, coming to fellowship. You don't know what God has for you. He have a present wrapped up for you each time you come up in here. Oh, what he got for me? No, all you got to do is show up and he'll show out. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We look at things the wrong way. Let people, stop people from being in your ear. Amen. Close the ear gate. Amen. Close it. And the reason why you have to close it is because a lot of them are speaking negative things. Negative things. Amen. To you. About God. They are giving Satan more credit than God. But if you bury yourself and lock yourself in the word of God, you know what the devil would do? say, I can't do that with him. He knows what the word says. And he knows that when you live right, he knows heaven belongs to you. He knows it. He knows it. So why should he die? have the power of God. Stop looking for friends. If you got the Holy Ghost, you got somebody. The governor lives on the inside of you and he will destroy everything that comes to hinder you. Very important people of God. You are blessed and you are recognized and God say, I will honor you. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God started talking Hallelujah. like that, in other words, he said, I, I, I'm open a passageway for you. Hallelujah. I'm going to take you on bridges that have been crushed. Hallelujah. I'm going to take you through places and things that no man or no woman have been. You're going to see some things. Yes, sir. You're going to experience some things. Yes, sir. And you're going to know that he is your God. My God. <laughs> Regardless of your situation. God has many names for every situation in your life. But he's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. Yes. To open your mouth. And call those things. That be not as though they were. Amen. I hope that the message has helped you. Bless you. That you grow stronger in the Lord. Yes. And remember that when you pray, the angels of the Lord surround you. Hallelujah. And they are listening to your words. Remember what the angel told Daniel? He said, the first time you open your mouth, God heard you and God loved you, but I'm here for your words. Yes. So that was the Old Testament. What do you think he's talking about in the New Testament? He said, open your mouth, your angels, they surround you. They want to act. They already got the okay from God. They're looking for your faith. Your faith, your words of faith, they are powerful. And you got to start the record. Stop talking to the devil. Rebuke him. On every hand. And I guarantee you, God will bless you. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this word. In the hearts and the minds of your people. In the name of Jesus. Then, Lord, as we take communion with you, the meal that feels, the meal that heals, the meal that delivers you. Often as we do this, we show forth your death and suffering to the come. And then we all give you together. We thank you and we bless you.